The announcement of the stay of the policy rate at 29.5% comes after the central bank cumulatively hiked the rate by some 1,600 basis points since November 2021. This is also the first time this year it has maintained the rate. It comes amid calls from the International Monetary Fund IMF for the Bank of Ghana to continue tightening monetary policy until inflation is firmly on a declining trajectory. The rate, which is of keen interest to businesses, does not only signal the rate at which the central bank will lend to commercial banks, but it also subsequently influences average lending rates on loans to individuals and businesses. By this, the cost of credit is expected to remain high, with the average lending rate going for about 31.5%. He is the chairman of the MPC and governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, highlighting the reasons for the maintenance of the rate to the media. The committee further noted the significant decline in headline inflation from the beginning of the year of more than 12%. The percentage of items in the CPI basket with inflation of more than 50% and above is receding, an indication of a strong return to the disinflation path. This is also supported by core inflation, which is also easing at a fast pace. The tight monetary policy through additional liquidity management operations to address excess liquidity conditions in the market, relative stability in the local currency, and easing of ex pump petroleum prices have all supported the disinflation process. Furthermore, the Bank of Ghana has signed the Memorandum of Understanding on Zero Financing to the Budget to eliminate fiscal dominance and allow for a faster ease in inflation towards the target band. These policies should provide the much needed anchor to reinforce the disinflation process and reset the economy on the path of recovery. Given these considerations, the Monetary Policy Committee decided to maintain the monetary policy rate at 29.5%. For some financial analysts, the maintenance of the policy rate by the Bank of Ghana is not far-fetched. Nano Tsui Champong has been speaking on the issue. All the indications are that the, you know we're doing inflation targeting. So what we are targeting has come down, but not to the expected level of 8 plus or minus 2. And so I didn't expect it to go up, or no, rather it would be reduced, but either be maintained or even inch up a little bit. So I think it's fine. The only problem is that it makes our uh, cost of money so very expensive for businesses. And in the situation we are in, we want businesses to expand and create employment. Uh, I think for now it's a bitter medicine that we all have to swallow.